Hi, welcome to this tutorial. We'll be focusing on how to set up our local theme development environment, build a custom theme, and publish it on UCAN. For this, we're going to need three key items to set our local theme development. First, we'll install UCAN CLI, which enables us to edit theme files on our local computer and instantly preview changes. Second, we're going to need a development store that we can connect for syncing changes and testing them live. Third, we'll use Dusk Theme, a starter theme provided by UCAN CLI to help us easily customize it. Ready to set this up? Let's get started. First, we open our terminal and use npm to install globally UCAN CLI's latest version along with UCAN theme package. So make sure you have your node package manager installed to run this command. Check our developer documentation to copy the necessary commands easily. Once the installation process is complete, let's double check by running ucan help It'll display all available commands within the CLI. For our purpose, we'll be using ucan CLI for themes. But first, let's connect the ucan CLI to our development store by running ucan auth login. If you don't have a development store, be sure to have your partner account set up and create as many development stores as you like. A window will open up to authorize access to our development store. Once authorized, the terminal will show the store we're logged into. Next up is building a new theme based on UCAN starter theme. For this, we'll run the UCAN theme init command, which will start a new project by pulling a version of Dusk theme from the UCAN GitHub repo. Let's name it Light Theme and customize the rest of the inputs. Now, we will wait for the theme to be downloaded on our local directory. You can CLI will then upload this theme as a development version to the store we're connected to, ready for modifications on our local code editor. Our theme is now created with a unique ID, as we see that it appears on our partner dashboard. We can also check it by accessing our development store. This takes us to our seller area dashboard, go to store, then themes, and click on customize to open it in UCAN's theme editor. Dusk theme is built using Liquid's templating language, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, which makes it easy to customize. You can see here all the currently available pages. Here we have our home page, products page, and others as a reference to help you get started. Each template page contains sections that you can add from this sidebar. Now to understand our theme architecture, let's head back to our terminal and open our newly created theme directory in our local code editor. We can see here all of the theme folders, but more on this later. Let's first start our local development server to view and test any modifications in real time. Run ucan theme dev command, which will redirect us to a new page on our browser, displaying the theme and synchronizing any modifications we make. Watch as the folders we're about to discuss directly influence what we're viewing in the browser. First up, the layout folder. It contains the theme's main layout file, written in Liquid, which wraps around every page of our store, including meta tags and styles. For example, let's change the color of the layout. The dev server will update automatically and we can see instantly our changes in the preview. Next, we have the templates folder, where the structure for each page is defined using JSON. For our home page, we look at the index.json, where we organize all our sections and what's rendered in our page. For example, let's change the order of the image banner and rich text sections. Our server updates and hot reloads our preview in the browser. Now, let's take a closer look at our section folder. These liquid files allow us to create reusable code snippets or features. They are customizable by sellers. Each section can contain blocks within. For example, in the image banner section, we have a for loop for blocks, which we have defined down below in the section schema, which also includes settings that allow sellers to customize their store. We can test these settings from the theme editor in our seller area dashboard. The label property is used to display this text. Next up, we have the snippets directory, which holds smaller reusable chunks of code, often included in sections for things like icons, like these payment icons that we find in our footer section. We use the render keyword to include this snippet, which brings us to the config folder, where the footer and header section are located. 
This folder contains the theme's layout elements and global settings which sellers can customize from the theme editor. Then we have the Assets folder that contains scripts and style sheets. We've got some CSS for our image banner section here. Changing the text align property to test it, now going back to the image banner section, we find here a liquid filter at the top, which links our CSS file. Check our documentation for more insights on all available liquid filters. Lastly, the locals folder, which holds translation files, using JSON to store text content for the theme, making it easy to support multiple languages. Now, let's put our knowledge into action by adding a custom section to our homepage. First, let's create our custom section. In the sections directory, we will add a new file named custommessage.liquid and type some text here, discover our new collection. Next, let's add a schema to make our message customizable from the theme editor without needing to edit the code. Let's label it custom message and then add settings to it. It will be a text field. We set its ID to custom text so we can easily access it. Then add a default text to be displayed as a placeholder. Let's display in bold the custom text defined in the section settings. And test it from our theme editor. Here's our newly created section. Now let's save and see. The seller can now customize it easily. And if we want our section to be displayed directly on our homepage, let's update our template by accessing index.json. Let's insert our new section object here at the top and define its type, which is the name of our section file. Then define its settings by including the text that we will be displaying. And then add our section object to our structure down below. Now, let's have our section render a snippet to keep it dynamic for later customization. In the snippets folder, let's create a file named custommessage.liquid. For simplicity, we will type some text here. Then head back to our section and render our custom message snippet. Our terminal window will show the updates and it's syncing instantly with our preview version in the browser. Finally, we'll style our message. Let's first assign a class attribute to our text, then create a CSS file named custommessage.css in the Assets folder. To keep it simple, let's set a background color. We then go back to our section file and link our CSS using asset URL and the style sheet tag filter. Once we're done customizing our theme, it's time to publish it. For this, we head back to our You Can Partner dashboard, locate our newly created theme, and then submit it for review. Note that once it's being reviewed, the theme gets locked and you can't make any more changes. So make sure you've tested it thoroughly on your dev store. By following this tutorial, we've now successfully laid the groundwork for developing our custom theme using You Can CLI and Dusk theme. Feel free to customize your theme as much as you want before submitting it for review, but it's important to stick to the outline structure to keep everything running smoothly and ensure that You Can can effectively locate all necessary theme-related components. If anything wasn't clear or if you'd like to dive deeper into theme development, don't forget to check our documentation linked in the description below.